one of my close friends of mine. We went through the same high school, same medical school. But at third year level, he became a manic depressive. He became, a, he, he became crazy during the uh, intermission of the classes. He would go in front of the class, in front of the class and the, in the blackboard, he would write his po poetry. Beautiful poetry, but uh, as time goes on, poetry becomes very illogical. He was admitted to the psychiatric, psychiatric hospital, so National University. So I used to visit him almost da daily. That's where I met Dr. Nam. He, he liked me and he asked me to come to work for the, the, during the summer vacation. So the, I, I became a psychiatrist. But I'm glad that uh, I became a psychiatrist because uh, I deal with the whole, whole person. I was interested in spirituality and religion, as well as uh, body and mind, spirit, all together. She was uh, such, such a beautiful girl. Many boys were after her, so I, I, I have to dare to approach her. He really liked me, but of course I said to everybody, you know, no, no to everybody, whoever comes to me. <laughs> the reason was embarrassed, and the second reason was I was not going to marry. I, I didn't have any plan to get married because uh, I want to do special thing. We belong to the same, we went to the same Christian students group meeting. On the way home, it was dark and uh, somebody asked, asked her to accompany her, but uh, she said did she, she said no. But she asked me to to accompany to to a certain place. Subsequently, I asked her to go to opera. Initially, she said no, but I asked her again. She said, she said yes. I said no to Luke, but somehow I felt he's a little bit different person, very sincere, really gentleman, and a very soft-spoken person very intelligent looking. He didn't talk much, but somehow he paid attention to me. I knew that, I felt that. <laughs> then one day he uh, asked me whether uh, I like to go to opera. He has a free ticket because I love opera. So I went to opera with him. That was a Carmen. <laughs> and before that, these poor medical school students, I don't know where he got the money. He said uh, he liked to treat me dinner. So we went to dinner and went to opera. Then after opera, we, we went to the coffee house. And then we started talk. And uh, I started talk about Africa, mission work in Africa. And my hero is Dr. Schweitzer and all that. He said, gee, my hero is also Dr. Schweitzer. When I learned that she liked Dr. Schweitzer, I told her that I liked her. I hear it's Dr. Schweitzer, so we have the same, same ideas. So that, that clicked. Grace was involved in a, in a more liberal Christian group, whereas I'm more conservative group. So they, we are opposite to each other. It's like a Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> so then we started to go out. That was the last year of college. And so we graduated uh, that university on the same day. We dated uh, about a year or so. But the Korean dating is not like a, a contemporary dating. Just uh, go, go to the coffee house, sit down, talk. That, that's about it. Then he came to this country in, I guess, uh, months later or two months later. So that was really hard. We just got to know each other better as a special friend that he's leaving. We decided to 
Although I propose, we, we agree, I agree with her that maybe we should not get engaged. He wrote me a letter every week. So our friendship became deeper and deeper. We have been writing for six years, back and forth. So that six years later when I decided to remain in the United States, I asked her to come and uh, get married, so that's where she came. And at that time, Luke was living with the church uh, lady. Uh, she is about, uh, about 80 years old and living alone. It was meant to be just a room, but uh, she began to like me and she began to treat me like a son. So I become almost like a family member eventually. So she prepared for our wedding because we didn't know what to do. And she asked all the church ladies to do everything for us. We didn't have any money. <laughs> I bought a $20 gold ring at the Sears. So we made the invitation and sent out all the friends and also Luke's hospital and the school friends. Pastor officiated the wedding and the church organist played organ. And I met one friend and she was studying voice there. So she sang Lord's Prayer and one of the Korean lyric song, White Lily, that was my favorite. And then I met one classmate there in Buffalo. So she became the bridesmaid. And then Luke had one friend there. We had the evening wedding, seven o'clock wedding. That was so beautiful. And then after that, this woman's organization had the wedding cake and then tea and the coffee and the punch and the cookie and the peanuts, uh, candy. After the reception, we left for honeymoon. We went to New York City. <laughs> following year, February, we left Buffalo and then uh, came to California. At first, we moved to Vacaville. He had to do internship again, so we moved to San Francisco, and he was an intern there. Then we moved to San Luis Obispo after he finished, and he had to work there for two years. And so I was able to go to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. I got my master's degree. Both boys were born at uh, the Kaiser Hospital in Vallejo. It was, it, was a, it was a great joy. David was born in 1963, May 17 and uh, he has a Korean middle name, David Songchol Kim. And then the younger one uh, is uh, Danny Songwoo Kim. He was born 1965, May 23rd. David was more serious and uh, quieter, not very sociable, but uh, he was very serious and hardworking. So his reading and the writing was just uh, unbelievable. And Danny is a more playful and a fun person <laughs> and lovable. Always make a funny face, it made me laugh. He loved the music. Both of them liked the music. 